man. <laughs> All right. So I understand, right, being a fan of someone. I understand, you know, being so infatuated with a person that you never met, by the way, uh, that you only see through a screen for the most part. I understand, right? I understand being a loyal fan, you know, even calling yourself diehard fan or a, a day one fan of the cases. But I think there comes a point where it's like, you're not just a fan anymore. You're a stan or you're like, you're psychotic. You're deluded. Something is wrong with you mentally. All right. And that relates to the story right here. Cause this woman, okay. It says suspected Dallas airport shooter <laughs> told cops she's God's prophet and Chris Brown's wife. And when I saw that shit at first, low key, I didn't believe it. But then I had to come to the realization that there's people out there who legit worship these damn people, bro. Like, especially in regards to someone like Chris Brown. Women just love Chris Brown. Women just be throwing themselves at him, bro. Like, I can relate. Nah. <laughs> nah, I can't. I'm just joking about that. But seriously, though, like, people, these women, most of them, are paying a thousand dollars just to take pictures with him, bro. Like, it's that it's to that extent, but it I have to think about it, like, bro. When does it become too much? Like, when does it become like something is just wrong with you? You know, like you can't idolize this person that damn much that you're willing to go to this extent to get locked up just to say, because it's not real. You know, this shit is not true, but just to say that you're Chris Brown's wife, like, what the hell? <laughs> like, what is wrong with you? What is wrong with these women, bro? Like, yeah, I remember it was a while ago now, but yeah, I remember of a story of uh, I think some woman had like climbed over the gate to his house and was like waiting for him. <laughs> oh my god, I can't say that without laughing. Like, she climbed over the man's gate, his fenced up house, bro, and was just waiting for him to come home. Like, seriously, though, like, at what point does it become too much? Like, at what point does it become like, okay, you're psychotic, the screws are loose up here, Chris Brown would never want to meet you now, you're just wasting your time. Like, at what point does that hit, you know? At what point does that realization hit, you know what I'm saying? Man, let's hear what Chris Brown had to say about this. I don't know what's in my fucking music, but we, we got some of the crazy, I got some of the craziest stalkers in the world, man. I mean, hey, mental health is not something to play with, man. We Hey, man. I mean, <laughs> I was expecting more, but I could do something with that. So here's my thing, right? He mentioned mental health. And I understand mental health, mental health is a big thing, a big issue. I will not deny that shit. I'm not going to ever demean anyone who has to deal with that. But I feel like some people use that as an excuse, bro. Some people use mental health as an excuse. Hear me out though. Cause this woman right here, this obvious this screws loose up this <laughs> this it's obvious that there's screws loose upstairs. It's obvious she's not right in the head. But I don't think everyone should be able to use mental health as an excuse to do some crazy shit. Especially like this, bro. Especially like this. You know what I'm saying? Like I understand and Chris Brown is right. He does have some of the craziest fans. It's mostly women because they all feel like they all feel like he's their boyfriend. He's their boyfriend or some shit like that. Or they all feel like they're his wife or some shit. <laughs> it's so funny, but it's so confusing at the same time. Like it's they're delusional, man. I'm not gonna front. But Chris, that response right there is like it's almost like Chris Brown is amping it a little bit like he's almost condoning it you know what i'm saying because he's laughing he wasn't serious you know it's almost like you know he he enjoyed it you see what i'm saying but my main thing is i understand the mental health issue it uh issue plays a role it definitely does but not everyone should be able to use that shit as an excuse see what i'm saying but let me know what y'all think though man let me know just be real okay <laughs> Let me know if you've ever done something as a crazed fan of somebody, all right? Just be real, all right? Let me know what y'all think. If you turn that into bear, I really appreciate it, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you. More videos coming soon, man. Ah! <laughs>